Hi guys, how are you doing? Hope everyone is doing great. Welcome to another video. In this one, we'll be making over this um, vintage sideboard slash credenza, or whatever you want to call it, depending on where you live in the world. In um, the UK, where I live, they normally call it um, sideboard or a buffet. There's a place called um, Trashman's Treasure, which basically is exactly what the name says. So there's a guy who picks up trash or just things that he finds and then um, he resells them. I got this one for um, 30 pounds and I thought it was a pretty good deal. I really liked it and I wanted to have it. So I started off by giving it a really good clean with um, trisodium phosphate, which is a um, degreaser and deglosser and I removed the hardware as well. It was super dirty and very old, so I um, used um, a little brush to give it a good scrub and to get into all those um, corners and difficult to reach places. I also cleaned the drawers and then um, just waiting for this uh, piece to dry, I took the hardware and I put it in a pot with 50-50 um, vinegar and water and I boiled it for about 15 minutes just to make sure that all the dirt um, and grease would come off. As you can see there were two holes on the top because there was a little uh, piece of wood attached to it um, but I didn't like it and it doesn't look very modern so um, I just took it off and decided to just remove it so I basically used a piece of a uh, straight piece of wood and some clamps um, to make sure I would cut it with a straight line and I used my jigsaw to, um, to cut it off. And now everyone's favorite part Sanding. <laughs> I'm laughing because it isn't my favorite part. I don't like sanding because it takes forever and it's very tedious. But this is something that needs to be done, obviously, if you want to have a nice finish. I started by sanding the top. I believe I just used um, 80 grit sandpaper at first and then I um, went over with 120 and then 180. And I think that's where I stopped because I was just quite happy with the finish. And also, oak is very porous, so you're not gonna get a perfectly smooth finish. So, probably doesn't make sense to send it with a higher grid than um, 220 or something like that. Anyhow, so I was happy with that, and I just kept sending until it was um, nice and varnish free. And here's a little sanding montage for you. I also sanded um, the rest of the um, the main body of the buffet. There was just a lot of sanding. I did some of it by hand and used different um, sanders just to make sure I could get into all those crevices. And then I flipped it on the back and kept sanding. <laughs> because I wanted to stain the base, I had to remove the varnish, otherwise I wouldn't be able to stain it. Or it just wouldn't look as um, nice. I um, like reading your comments, guys, um, when you say that I get into all those details and I make sure that everything is super clean and I never miss a thing. Um, I think that this is how it should be done and I don't really understand why some people just, you know, paint it on the outside and don't really care about the rest of it. But, you know, just thinking that someone's going to buy it, you don't want to feel embarrassed when you know, you're loading it onto someone's um, car and then you see all those um, bits that you missed or you didn't paint because you just um, didn't feel like it. Anyhow, 
Thank you guys for your feedback. I really enjoy reading your comments and seeing you know all those places where you guys live and um, projects that you uh, get into. So yeah, please share and comment and I, I love reading those. So when I was finished sanding, finally, I used my little leaf blower to um, dust it off and um, there was also a door stopper missing so I just cut a piece of um, wood that I removed from the back of this um, buffer to size just to match the one on the other side of, um, of the divider thing and I glued it and uh, put a nail through it just to make sure it would um, stay put until um, the glue was dry and when I was done with this I just used a damp cloth to um, just wipe this whole piece and make sure there was no dust and that it was ready ready for paint and then I just um, sanded the insides of the drawers because they were made of wood and I just wanted them to um, look nice and fresh and as you might know by now I applied some wax later on just to make the wood look um, nice and fresh and give it a nice deep and rich color and now I'm just taping off all those uh, parts that I don't want to get the paint on and I've got this really cool um, tape that comes with um, plastic attached to it just to um, protect the surfaces from um, paint and as you will see not everything went to in <laughs> according to plan because I was thinking about painting this um, olive green uh, with Dixie Bell paint but I actually didn't have enough so I wanted to do it uh, with a brush just not to waste it as um, when you paint it with a sprayer there's uh, you just use more paint but it just wasn't enough so um, somehow I didn't actually record the footage of me painting it the right color so you can only see the green one <laughs> but you've got the idea so when this was dry I decided I didn't have enough paint so I used uh, my sprayer and um, a grey color that I actually mixed with like three different paints because I didn't have enough grey um, either so anyhow sometimes you just do what you have to do and then I used this gold leaf uh, spray paint to paint the hardware and surprisingly it wasn't actually a uh, gold leaf it was a different shade of gold but um, the name of the can was wrong but I had some um, fortunately um, that I bought previously just very little left but it was enough for me to paint the hardware so I was quite happy with that so I decided to leave all this footage in just for you guys to see that um, you know things happen and sometimes you just need to improvise and um, not everything goes according to plan it actually quite often doesn't <laughs> but um, anyhow so I used um, no paint gel stain by Dixie Bell in color walnut to stain the base. I've used it in my other videos, you might have seen me um, stain with this um, gel. It's super easy to use, it's got a beautiful color and um, yeah this is just my new favorite thing. So I stained the base and some bits um, in the middle as well and then I used orange scented natural beeswax to um, to wax the top, the drawers, the insides of the drawers and inside of the buffet itself and I just love this wax, it's super easy to use, it's um, liquid so yeah it just goes on like butter, actually better than butter and um, just gives the wood natural rich and deep color just makes it look more alive I guess because it just restores all the juices that used to be in the wood before it died and um, dried up. Next I put the hardware back on and I used a lot of gilding wax um, on the middle um, piece with all those details and that's it. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.